A vector's question, a vector's question that concerns the idea of collinear or collinearity, points in the same line. That's what we've got to think about. With vector's question, an idea often to just make it clear what you're dealing with. We've got O to A is A, I'm going to put that on the diagram. And I've got O to B as B, I'll put that on the diagram. Vector A, vector B, and we have E at a midpoint, just there. So, midpoint of AB. So, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to decide how to get to point E. And a good idea with vectors questions is not to wade in with my A's and B's here, but to decide on the route I'm going to take first, just to organise things. I'm going to go, and I'm going to choose routes that I know something about. I'm going to go O to B, and then I'm going to go B to E. Now, B to E, I can also see, is half of... B to A. And B to A, I can see, is going to be B to O plus O to A. Which B to O is minus B, back along B. O to A plus A. Let me take that back now to my OE. So OE, let me put my letters in now. O to B first, which I know. And B to E, which I've worked out here. Let's multiply that out and put things together. B minus a half of B and one half of A in other words one half of B plus A O to E now collinearity how do I show it? O to F I'm told is two fifths of A plus B and it seems to me that O to E and O to F are multiples of each other. Now, being multiples of each other doesn't quite make us collinear, but we have a common point. So a common point O, and with a common point and parallel vectors, we should have collinearity. So the common point and the fact that O to E is a multiple of O to F. In fact, I think if I do two fifths of O to E, I'd get the same result as if I did one half of O to F. I can use a variety of multiples there. And those two factors mean that I am in the straight line, means I'm collinear. Same point and multiple vectors. There we go, collinear.